the clock. Let's stand and we begin to worship the Lord this morning. You are God, God of the heavens and God of the earth. You are God of our Savior's virgin birth. Come on now. You are God on the cross and God over hell. You are God before man and God when he fell. I say you, you are, you are God. Right, Carl? You are God in what seems like happenstance. You are God in every circumstance. Every circumstance, Lord. You are God in the fall and God when we stand. You are God who holds us in your hand. Yes, Lord, you are you. that second verse one more time. You ready, Darren? Okay, man, let's check it. You are God, God in what seems, seems like, like happenstance. You are God in every circumstance. You are God when we fall and God when we stand. You are God and holds us in your hand. You, you are, you are God. You are God, God, God. You, you are. We haven't done this song for a while. Come on, man. I think you know this for me. You hear the man of God, God I look into your face. You hear the man of God, God I name my hands, hands and pray. As a man of God, I am I will proclaim. Cause I'm a man of God, overwhelmed by His love and grace. So let me be the one you send to the nation. And let me be the one to shake the gates of hell. In these final days. I will proclaim, here I am, let me be the one. Here's a man of God, I have no condemnation. As a 
man of God to stand for what is right. As a man of God, my life belongs to Jesus. I'm a man of God overwhelmed by a love. For in these final days, for your name I will proclaim. Here I am. Let me be the one. Let me be the one. Let me be the one you send to the nation. Let me be the one to shake the gates of hell. In these final days, for your name I will proclaim. Here I am. Let me be the one. In these final days, in these final days, for your name I will proclaim. Here I am. Let me be the one. Here I am. Here I am. Let me be the one. Here I am. Let me be the one. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Good morning, men of God. Nice to see you here today. Man, let me be the one. I love that song. Let me be the one. Gary, we got to go around the world doing that one, okay? Good morning, Gus. Good morning. Good to see you again. Good Amen. Good I saw you last Wednesday, though. I did. I was going to say, what was I doing last Wednesday? Say, I was in, uh, you were preaching on prayer. Yes, I was. <laughs> yes, you were. Yes, I was. I liked it all. The, the P, the P, the, you had all three P's right there. That was way cool. Well, because we're dumb. Yeah. <laughs> as, as men, we're pretty dumb. Yeah. So you got to, you got to, well, you, you did gotta it. spoon feed it. Yeah, to well, us. you did it well. Yeah. <laughs> Like, like Romans 8 1. <laughs> you know how many guys, you know how many guys yeah. uh, have mentioned Romans 8 1 in the last week, knowing that you're coming back, uh -huh. wondering what you're going to preach on? Yeah. And how many guys have come up to me and says, I, I, I bet you it'll have something to do with Romans 8 1. Well, I, I think it will. <laughs> I feel like um, it's a good place. It's good to have you back, my Thanks. friend. It really is. It's good right? to be Isn't back. It good to have him back. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thank you, guys. I would imagine that we're going to hear some great stories. We're going to hear, yeah. uh, uh, I think we've all seen the interview by now. Nice job. Oh, the Lord just blessed that. I'm telling you, at every place I went, I told my wife, I said, I'm created for this stuff. You couldn't go to an RV park without a divine appointment. Fantastic. I mean, we watched people come to Christ. We watched people rededicate their life to the Lord. I mean, all we had to do was walk into the room. <laughs> and it was a strange, I mean, it was, I got so many stories, I thought, all I could think of was when Paul would go back to Jerusalem, yeah. he would say, I, he, would, he would go back to tell the apostles all that God had done, and they could only celebrate and praise him. I said, that's all I can say is, in fact, I, I got one, one of the deals, I was preaching at a Lutheran church last Sunday, and it was so stinking fun. I mean, it was just a joy. Uh, uh, Carl's sister goes there, Cheryl and her family, and, and we had like four or five people that went to his healing hands uh, to Peru, and... Uh, they're just a wonderful church, and this well-dressed lady afterwards, she comes up to me. She's just so stinking excited. She goes, I've never heard anything like that. And then she says, you know, I think you have the gifts of evangelism. I'm going to go rent a tent and get you. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that happening? <laughs> yeah, I, I, well, I was telling Carl, I said, it just gave me a flashback. When I was a young man, uh, back in the, in a, a, over four, about 40 years ago, <laughs> Um, I was asked to do a revival meeting for five days, and they did that in, out of Colorado Springs. And, I th and all of a sudden, it just brought it back. I thought, remember when they used to rent tents? And they would do a revival meeting for five days in a row. Yeah. And uh, it was one of the most holiest times I've ever had. And I would be calling people to repentance, and the one thing that overwhelmed me is that the man, Bill Hodges, a great man of God, he is the one that was preaching when I surrendered all. And the last day, on the last meeting, I gave an invitation to surrender it all. We've all got hindrances. We've got something. 
And Bill Hodges came forward and knelt down and began to just weep. And I went down with him and I just wept with him. And I just said, Bill, isn't it grand to come with the Lord together? And we're doing it together. And I said, look what, look what God has done with us. So, well, you know, yeah. they say that some you know, people have a face for television, right? And some people have a voice for radio, you know? Right. But I would declare that you've got both the face and the voice. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. It was, it was a joy to watch. I, I hope all of you get to watch it. I'm telling you what, that, and pray for, pray for that time because I really want people to come to Christ. I'm gonna, I want to just share one thing with you before you get into the Word of God, and that is, uh, well, we've got, first, we, I want an announcement about our, our, our breakfast. You are, we've got that coming up next week. Well, uh, a week, a week from, and a, a week a week from, from Saturday, Saturday. Yeah. which is November 10th, yeah. which what is the that? Marine Corps birthday. Is it really? <laughs> <laughs> you guys get to have breakfast together on the Marine Corps birthday. It doesn't get better than that, except had you been Marines. But at least you... <laughs> You know, but you can wish. Yes. And, and we're going to have SOS that day. Yeah, okay, that's way good. That's way cool. <laughs> and there is a Marine speaking. That and day. the Marine speaking. And we're going to promote him again more here uh, this this week and and, and Monday. But uh, uh, Delaney, uh, Henry, last name, sir? Yes, that's right. Yes. Listen to that voice. Uh, he's got. He's a Marine just by. <laughs> I mean, do you have to have that voice? Uh, it's given to you in boot camp. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk more about him leading uh, uh, up to next week. Uh, I have a couple of things I wanted to mention. Uh, number one is uh, Jay is still looking for uh, 25 bucks uh, for uh, per guy for the training that he's doing down in uh, Costa Rica for Global so Jay, how many guys are you going to have, do you think? some odd years. That's a long time. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm almost that old. <laughs> and, uh, he, uh, he stepped up and accepted um, a chaplainship in the Sheriff's Department, our San Luis Obispo County Sheriff's Department. There are two, hey, Steve. <laughs> two of them are getting pinned tomorrow. In other words, when, when we say you're getting pinned, it means you're giving your badge. And his wife, his beautiful bride, Carol, is going to pin his badge on him tomorrow. That's at 10 o'clock uh, down at the Honor Farm where the main jail is and everything else down on Kansas on Highway 1. If you happen to be down in that area, um, I would love to overwhelm them and that, that facility down there. And uh, it, it, it's quite an honor. Quite Amen. A Amen. That is a great I'll honor. I'll be there. I'm bringing a contingent hire patrolman. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Yes, that'll be Amen. So that's tomorrow at 10, if anybody's around. That's a great thing to do. I'm going to try to get there I, now that I know where it is. Amen. Steve, that's an honor. We got some, And Highway Patrolman even going to be there? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, way cool. <laughs> hey, guys, I just want to tell you right before you get into the Word, uh, uh, there's a young man. Uh, you don't know him. His name is Sasha Estrada. I knew his mom and dad and saw them come to Christ a long, long time ago. And I watched this boy grow up into a man. And uh, he was uh, back in, he, anyway, I, I saw him come to Christ in California. When we moved to Washington, after we moved, they moved with us. They came up, uh, his, his dad and he lived in our home for probably six months while dad got established in work. His dad was from Guatemala. His mom is from France. And uh, he speaks a multitude of languages. Anyway, when he was 17 years old, he uh, was on a great soccer team, and I had written a track called Freedom. And uh, like we used to use tracks, do you remember that, for Christ? And I had 10,000 of them done, and, and he was going to 
he was playing soccer in Russia back then. This is back in the 80s. And so he took about 500 tracks and he gave them all out in Russia back, back then. Well, today he is a, uh, him and his wife are in Nepal. They're missionaries out there. They went on their own. They're in a really rough spot. And I got, I've been, we've been connected again on message. And the reason I'm telling you this is for you guys that have traveled in the world, you'll know this. In America, we don't about, uh, you believe in God, but we hardly believe there's really darkness or demon, demons. Let me tell you, there are demons. And last night he was dealing with a gal, uh, a young girl, and they were praying over and praying over, and the gal was just screaming and violent and vulgar and puking and all of this. And next door was a Hindu guy praying against him, you know, breathing the drums and all of that. And so I, I prayed, and I just felt the presence of the Almighty in my home at that time. And I would just ask, uh, around your table when you're reading the Word, re just remember that you're reading God's living Word. I'm going to let you know there's no one like the Lord. And I let Sasha know that, uh, him and his wife, I, he asked me to pray for him. And he just said, we just got reconnected after all these years. And in fact, I looked at him and uh, he has the same haircut as Scott now. And I... <laughs> 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 and I, I thought, wow, you know, but anyway, around the world, there are men and women out there, to, let it be me. He took a picture of their dinner, and it was a bowl of rice. <laughs> that was their dinner last night. And I thought, you know, you, we sometimes forget we're just here. You're here, and you just forget what's going on in the world out there. God is doing that. His name is Sasha. So if you think about that, read the Word, and then when we go to prayer, we'll pray for Him again. So take the time in the Word. It's going to be dynamic today, by the grace of God.